Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great week. So I was watching a video earlier today um, by a cellist, his name is Amit Pellet, and he's a really great educator and cellist. And he was discussing a method by which you could use harmonics to help you reduce tension in your left hand when you're playing really expressive passages. So I wanted to just make a video with my own take on this exercise and to give you a little bit of um, ideas of ways that you can kind of play with this concept in order to reduce tension in your left hand. So what we're going to start with today is first we're going to start by finding the harmonics that are on each of our strings up to the harmonic in the middle of the string. So the first thing we can do is we're going to find our harmonics starting on the A string. So we'll find harmonic A with your third finger. So when you're playing that harmonic, you're lightly touching the string in the middle of the string. Got a nice hand shape. And then we're going to play the harmonics across the strings. So we have D, G, and C. And what we're going to do next is we're going to play these harmonics while keeping the light touch in the left hand, but using a really heavy bow. So making a fortissimo sound like this. So what you'll notice when we do this is that the left hand stays really light while the right hand and arm sink into the string. And what we're starting to do here is separate the movements of the right arm and the left arm so that when we're playing, if we're playing really expressive and loud passages, we can still maintain lightness in the left hand. So if we start with these harmonics and then move around the string and play harmonics in other places, we'll be able to also create a lightness in the hand no matter where we are on the string. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find the harmonics that are at the fourth position. So if you're on the A string, you can find the harmonic E, the A, the D, and the G. Right, so if we were to play these notes, pressing down, and instead of that, with a light touch in the left hand, And then we're going to play them heavy in the right hand, but still light in the left hand. And I want you to be mindful of what you feel in both arms. So you should feel a lightness in your left hand and no squeezing whatsoever, but a heaviness in the right hand. The next set of harmonics that we're going to explore are in the first position. So first we're going to play the notes D, C sharp and C on your A string. So D, C sharp and C. And then what I'd like you to do is play those notes but as harmonics. And you'll notice it comes out as a different set of notes. Very light with the hand, no squeezing in the thumb. And then try to play those harmonics with a heavy bow, but still a really light left hand. And then we're gonna repeat that same pattern on the D string. So first we'll play the notes G, F sharp, and F. And then we're gonna repeat those, but as harmonics. And then as harmonics, but with a heavy right bow and a lightness in the left hand. And then let's repeat that on the G string. C, B, B flat. Then as harmonics. And then with a heavy fast bow in the right hand, but still very light in the left hand. harmonics don't want to sound for me right now. And then on the C string, we've got F, E, E flat. And then when we play them as harmonics. And then with the fast 
last bow. Don't worry if that sound doesn't come out super well for you on the C string. Those harmonics can be hard to play, especially if your C string is a little bit old, like mine is. So what you'll notice, hopefully, when we do this exercise is how the right arm and the left arm are kind of separate in the way that they're weighted on the string. You should feel a real lightness in the left hand, but a nice strong and heavy right arm. And what this does is when we start to move around the instrument with this feeling, you can start to play notes with the feeling as if you're playing harmonics. This is what Ahmed Pella was talking about. You'll feel as if you're playing harmonics, but once you start to press down the fingers, you can play with a really expressive, but not squeezing left hand. <laughs> how that works for you and whether you can feel the difference between the weight in your right arm and in your left hand.